Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game The Planet Crafter, and we're in Season 1, now Episode 71. Well, we're at 5.52 TTI. Um, we've got the extraction platform up and running outside, but um, we can't actually utilise it until we do a little bit more work. Apparently we've got to get rid of this anomaly. Um, but <clears throat> I looked at the, the messages and uh, in here um, <clears throat> I didn't realize but I went I went scrolling through these messages right and this was the message that said uh, we basically need to blow up the anomaly so we need this massive big explosive device to do it um, then where was it I went back through the messages where is it? it's a message from Riley this one here I've conducted a deep scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topo topographical data near your location. Then he gives me this coordinates, right? Try to get to this place. Um, I actually went there off camera and I've never seen it before. I've run past it so many times. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go out and have a look. Now, is that stupid weather affecting me? I think it is. All right. Let me just get my water and my bean. Um, hang on, is it working? There you go. Um, I might take a little bit of extra stuff with me because we're kind of going on a little bit of a trip, I suppose. Uh, let's have a look. I will eat you and take you. Um, the animals seem to be fine, by the way. This stuff seems to be working all right. This one seems to be... Oh. <clears throat> Maybe it's going up and down like a yo-yo. Hang on. Hang on a second. Let's just check this out. Oh no. Are you guys all herding around here waiting for food? Zero. Zero. Hey, what the crap? How come you got no food again? You're drinking that water, dude. How are you drinking that water? Oh, look at that. He's like a little... Looks he's poor like a cat, almost. Um... Oh, jeez, you've grown a fair bit. Holy cow, it's like an armadillo, really, isn't it? So, I'm not sure what happened to the animal food again. It, they obviously don't die, but... I'm not sure if it stunts their growth. So, what's happening here, then? <clears throat> it's probably making it, but just very slowly. Hang on, what? Just let me... I shouldn't really be doing this, hang on. The T1 animal food is there, algae and rare... Maybe it's the rare larva again. I think algae's probably fine. Where's algae? No, the algae's... The algae's a miss. Hang on, don't tell me I've got rare larva and now it's the uh, other way around. Oh no, they're both down a bit. I have a feeling they'll catch up. I'll keep an eye on it, but I think I think it'll just be a... bit of a roller coaster ride. But we'll go off to these coordinates and I'll show you where this is. <coughs> um... Where was it again? It was 248.42.93. Okay, let's try this. 248. Okay, so this is where I found it. Because <clears throat> there was those other coordinates that were way over the back there. I did have a bit of a look, but I couldn't see anything obvious, so... I probably need to do a more thorough search, but I think, I think the Riley message kind of is the priority at the moment. Weird looking plants. 242, what did I say? 242, 42, 93? Yeah. So, it was over the back here from the waterfall, from the big waterfall. In here. I didn't realise there was a cave in here. Hmm. So, hang on, where, where exactly is. Hang on, 2. I just went past it. 242. 242 is there. Can't kind of. <clears throat> yeah, and then 4283. Or sorry, 4293. Would have to be. It's 
it's more over this side here, but it's under the ground here somewhere. A long way down. So anyway, we're entering, I think, from what my understanding is, this is like the mushroom cave. Oops, stuck on something. Where there's cobalt and other minerals. So this is where you kind of meant to go, so it must be down there somewhere. Did I see... Just wondering whether those space trade rocket small ones come back again. I was just wondering if there's meant to be um, like chests in here as well that I haven't seen. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big cave. So hang on, 93. It's a fair way. Is it a fair way down? Maybe. I don't know, just explore the whole cave, I guess. So this kind of looks like the wall of the cave still. Into the centre here, so... 255... 43, there you go. So 43... Oh, that's right, yeah, I saw this thing. So I think this is where you're meant to go. If I jump across here, this guy. And then it kind of keeps giving you other um, numbers to follow. So 464, I'll take a screenshot of that. Alright, so f yeah, minus 464, 4097. Oh, okay. Uh, this strange device seems to be used to open a mechanism. So I think you're meant to take, these are the warden's keys. So I think you take it and then you go to this next uh, location and then use it there, I think. So minus 464, minus 40. Hmm. Uh, is there anything else down here? It's a pretty decent sized cave. Like, should I be looking for chests and stuff to grab stuff out of? I don't know. We'll have a bit of a sticky big. Um, so far there's just minerals, I can't actually see too much. Oh, jeez, just walked straight into one, Trev. Oh, there you go. It's another one of them. What's that one do? I'll have to go and have a look. Alright, let's, um, oop. Oh, if I can just flick it properly. <laughs> there you go. That's what I was trying to do. That was so weird, just talking about where there could be other chests and that, and just about jumped on one. What's that over there? Hmm. Looks like an old kind of build structure. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what? Oh, hang on a second. We're, we're already there, are we? Minus 464. Hang on, what did I say before? That this, this, this is the coordinates then. Oh, is that a door? Hang on. Am I meant to do this? Oh, I am. <laughs> okay. Hey, can I drink this stuff? Is it like pink cordial? Doesn't hurt me if I walk into it, but no, I'll probably drink the water I've already got. Gee, it takes a while to open up. Holy crap. Common lava. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, well, we're going through here. Apparently. So I guess I'm gonna... Oh, this opens up a bit. I'm gonna find something somewhere. What's this? Read message? After all those years, all the suffering, we decided to leave our home soil to go as far away as possible and build a new home. Far from the terror, far from the strife, far from them. To stay hidden and live our lives as we had for centuries. We carefully chose somewhere we could be safe, gathered the last of our kind in our biggest vessel, and on a fateful night, we left. 
fling their never-ending insatiable more than themselves. Insatiability more than themselves. What the? Year whatever? Oh, that's from A Warden. Hmm. So they're, f they're fleeing. Another message? We were struck by the resemblance at first. We were almost exactly the same. Our scientists told us it was because of our celestial bodies were identical in every way, so our evolution, while independent, was very similar. It was like meeting a cousin you'd never, you never knew you had. They even called us brothers when they started to land on Treya. A few spaceships turned into dozens and slowly our worries grew. Our main differences were hidden deep inside. Biologically we were identical, but our minds had, be shaped, had been shaped differently. By fate or by nature? The fact is that when we realised it, it was already too late. Hmm, bit of a plot, bit of a storyline, I guess. So hang on, there's a pathway through there. Is, that, is this the same pathway? No. Oh, there's another Warden's Key. Okay, so this is a separate room. Alright, I guess um, we need to screenshot that then. 96468. 170... Is that 170? No, that's 1,744. Holy cow, isn't that really high? Hang on, that's not a decimal point there, is it? <laughs> wow, 90, 96468. Okay. Well, we'll take that one for the next one, I suppose. 96468. Okay. Oh, we'll fly through here. Where's this... Holy cow. Yeah, I knew, I knew that, I knew that. See? Came prepared. A bit. Wow, what the crap is this? I take it you're not meant to fall off there, I suppose. Well, this is not the location it mentioned. Nine... Nine six four, that's... What? Hang on. So I, I don't think I can go any further in there. Hang on, let me just have a look at that again. I know I've got a screenshot of it, but just let me look at the numbers again. 96468. Hmm. Alright, how did we come in? Was it through here? Yeah. 96468. That, that feels like she's a, a fair way away. Hang on. I'm getting out of the cave. Is it up this way? I think we might have some meteor thing going on outside. Gee whiz. Is it up through here? I came in here somewhere. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she's a she's a tad misty. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Alright, I'm going back to get some more food and water. 96468? What was it? 96468 was the last number? It's high. Was it 1744 or something? 96468, okay. So see, the first number's going up immensely, so does that mean it's kind of in that direction? It's back the other way, I think. The base is ridiculously big now, hey? It's huge, Trev! Alright. I think I need to get myself a few more of these. Oh, I better put some stuff away as well, I guess. Um, actually, can we decode this? I'm curious what this one was. Uh, What? What did that say? Vehicle Unlimited. Oh, is this, is this got the rover update? I did hear something about there being a rover update coming. <clears throat> um, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me just put this stuff away. Am I going to have room for this, or is the T2 full? T2's full, Trev. Okay. Actually, hang on. When you're making T2, which is this guy. No, it's also full. <laughs> 
I was gonna cheat and try to put some in there, but no, it's full. Hang on, is this just yeah, this is the normal mutagen. I got ended up with one of these guys. I ended up with a trait. So we can go in there. Iron can go in there. And I guess you know what? I'm gonna have to um, put these into the miscellaneous chest, I think. Alrighty. Um, let's go grab ourselves. We'll do the same thing, but we'll grab two beans. Where's my beans? There you go. Warden key, two water, two beans. I'm gonna save the game. And then we're gonna head off again. So we've been to the mushroom ish cave. Uh, where we going? Out the back door, basically. 96468. Put my light on. Hang on. I was going in this direction. If I go this way, 964. I just went past it, right? Is that high? It's gotta be over here then. Alright, hang on, let's get past here a bit. No, it's got to be in this direction. 96468, okay. Hang on. I've gone past it. Hang on, maybe, maybe it's in this other biome. It must be over here. Looking at the numbers. Hang on a second, since when did all this stuff come in? Hang on, wait, what? 964 is over this way a bit. And then, what did I say? 68. But what? How come it's minus 530-something? Can I hop up onto here? Oh, I can. Hang on. 964 is this way. And 68 is way back this way. Where exactly am I going? <laughs> I'm way up on the top of here, right? Hang on, 1744, isn't that underground then? This is getting a bit confusing. So 964 has got to be that way. One f What the crap? Oh. Um... These things appear everywhere you go. So 68, it's got to be, hang on, it's got to be over there somewhere. Yeah, it's got to be way, way underground then. Well, I haven't found the first um, area yet, have I? 968. It's raining. Nine six four just went past. So hang on, we're almost at nine six four sixty eight. get to that location so I just stand out here in the rain Nine, six. okay I just realized something I got my XYZ mixed up um, <laughs> by a long way so the minus 300 and something at the moment that's actually got to be 1744 right so 
the 900's correct, but I've got to go back this way. See what happens, see how much trouble you get into, Trev, when you get your XYZ wrong. Jeez! Okay. So if I go down, yeah, that's the middle coordinate, is my height. Man! It's like that, that's my Z coordinate, really. So hang on, let's just keep going until we get the last one to... We're, we're not that far off, the 968, 43, but the last number's way out. Because I think I'm meant to be over here somewhere. 1744. Yeah, 968's to my left, isn't it? So... Oh, I wonder if it's in the Super Alloy Cave. Or past it, maybe, a bit. Because that's coming up to 1744 really quick. 1600, 1650... 1744 just went past. Oh, it, it is in there somewhere. Look, 968 would be lower. Okay. It's got to be in here then. Get your coordinates right, Trev. Hang on, let's just get ourselves back around to here. Nine, hang on. Nine, six. So it's there. Down a bit. Oh, here it is. Damn it! There's no numbers on this. Just open and get a key, do you? Oh, you put a key in. Holy crap, what is over that? Oh, another door. Oh, no way. I didn't know that was a door. <laughs> For crap's sake. How many times have we played the game and just went round the wall there? It just looked like a big flat wall. Well, I take it I'm going in here. Hello? How did you get in here? nothing bad here, is there? Oh. Alright. Let's continue down. I guess I just have to find something, right? There's no coordinates to follow yet. We just have to find another one of the warden's things. Gee, I'm going down a fair way. I take it we get to here and go in? Hang on. Just let me save the game again. Just in case... Oh, okay, we got two... We've got to... Grab this. Does this have coordinates? I'll turn my light off. That would help. There's no coordinates, but we've got another key, I guess. Okay... So... Back to the crossroads. Let me go through here. Gee, she's a bit of a maze. That is brick and not lava, right? Well, I guess we're going through here then. Hmm. Gee, she's... She's a pretty big area. Oh, I can see another altar up ahead. Oh, look, there's buildings in here. Okay, holy dooly. Well, this one's obvious. Another one where I just take the key, I guess. Get another Warden's key out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got two. I guess we just need to explore this area, right? Holy dooly. Let's go to the left first. Oh, small trade space rocket. Hmm. Makes me a bit nervous climbing up stuff. I'm going to stay on this ground level if I can and just explore everywhere just in case I've missed something so that's the one we got the first key from there's nothing else down here I can grab no? okay so remember we came through all those pillars to the middle here so that that hang on is that an open doorway? Oh, it is. 
nothing hidden around here, no. Looks like we're kind of in a bit of a... Or maybe we're just in the bottom of the building. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing here, okay. Well, that's interesting, okay. Thought that would have... Hang on. Oh, for a second there, I thought that might have been a set of stairs, but no. Hang on. I came through there. Oh, there is stairs. It's in this other room. <laughs> Gee, I just about walked out. Oh, okay. This is, uh... Does this just keep going up and up, does it? Gee, she's, uh... Bit complex. Oh, there is something up there, is there? Or is that just a note, maybe? Can I jump across? Oh, yeah, I can. Read the message. Generations have passed since the Great Migration, but we will not forget our story, and the knowledge is carefully passed to every one of our younglings. Our masters watch their ev uh, evolution closely. We now see how primitive they were, and yet so powerful. Ironically, their destructive nature causes them to expand even further, and little by little they increase their reach, getting closer and closer. We thought we were safe this far away, but now we need to find a way to avoid meeting them again. We won't make the same mistake as the first time. Hmm. Sounds quite, um, drastic, doesn't it? So there's a, there's a message. Hang on, we didn't go right up here. So we'll let's see what we can find. Oh, it's Oh, is that a gold chest? It is too. Oh, okay. A golden effigy. Oh, we got another effigy. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's some more right stuff in there. Probably the golden effigy is the thing that you just go, wow. Can I just strike? Aluminium and super alloy. Oh, okay. It's not something I do that often. So that's not part of the getting somewhere thing. That's just um, something good to have, I guess. Alright, let's get out of this one. So we read a message. And we're back into this big room. Oh dear. Alright, well I guess I'm going to have to eat and drink. But you know what guys, I might have to leave the episode here. So we've got into this big area just here. Next episode, we're going to have to continue searching inside of here I guess that's um that's a big place oh my goodness so hang on that's but that's not a set of stairs right that's just a building thing hang on can you actually fly it oh your backpack doesn't work in here Holy crap. Oh no, you don't want to fall off stuff then. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, so... Oh, there is a bit of a path here. Okay. Where does this go? Oh, there is a set of stairs. Okay. Hang on, let me just go up a little bit higher. I wouldn't want to run out of food and water here though. Oh wow, okay. You've got to be a little bit careful here because you don't want to go falling off the off the building, I think that might hurt. I can't use my backpack, then I can't save myself. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a bit of a problem. Okay, so I'm up here. We'll explore a little bit more, then I'll have to leave the episode, but... Jeez, where does this go? I say, couldn't they have built something a little bit easier to <laughs> get to? So I can go through there. Can I hop up here without falling down? Oh, it's another message. Orbital drainage defense device. Observation log. This device is working as intended, and our tests are conclusive. If the ones calling themselves humans ever approach this planet, it will drain their ships of energy and prevent them from communicating. Oh, what the? So, hang on, this Warden guy is what probably brought him to the planet in the first place. Okay. Orbital drainage. Our presum... Uh, our prep... Supposition? 
is that the device will effectively reduce their efforts to approach this part of the infertuge, leading them to a spread elsewhere if they continue to... Oh, okay, so they won't... They'll bounce off here and go somewhere else. Our calculations are conclusive. This will give us at least a few hundred years of quietude. Hmm. So the wardens don't want you doing stuff, then. So does that mean the wardens aren't friendly? Kind of thing? What do we get if we run through here? <gasps> Holy crap, what the heck is that? This looks rather big. Does it do anything? Do I get a message? Oh, don't tell me this is the anomaly thing they're talking about. Oh, is this what you've got to blow up? Don't fall off there, Drew. I think this is what you're meant to blow up. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what you're meant to do. Because that must be... The defense. This is the thing that's the stopping the me getting out. I think. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll leave the episode here. I'll make my way back to base. Then we'll have to make up the explosive device and then come and blow it up. I don't know how big this bomb is. Maybe you have to blow it up and then make your way out. But how do you make your way out quickly? Because um, you can't just jump off the edge. I think you die. There's <laughs> lava everywhere. Oh dear. Anyway, guys, I'd probably off camera I'll make the explosive device and then we'll we'll come back next episode and uh, see if we can destroy that big sphere thing, the anomaly of whatever they call it, the protective thing, draining the energy of ships, that kind of thing. Anyway, guys, I will have to leave the episode here. Super hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, you can really help the channel out by smashing that like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.